Hey, it's your boy Bobby Beast here. I want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is Will Tariq Meet Rock Quay. What I mean by that is, will we see Tariq Meet Rock? Now, when it comes down to it, uh, basically on the show known as The Crew Has It, seeing the actress um, speak with Tariq, the guy who plays Tariq, which is Michael, these two talking with one another, and, and, and I'm not trying to forget her name. She is amazing. Um, but these two being around each other, I was like, I would really love to see Tariq and Rock be around one another. Now, when it comes down to it, Rock is in um, Raising Canaan, which takes place in 1991, at least in season one. Um, and, and looking at Tariq, who isn't even born at that time, <laughs> seeing Tariq around Rock, that really wouldn't happen. But what, what I want to say is this right here is that basically Rock could still be alive. Now, we really don't know if she's alive or not, but there's a chance she's alive and that Tariq comes across her because I'm pretty sure Kanan did not tell Tariq whether his mother was dead or alive or he probably did. When it comes down to it, uh, uh, Kanan spoke to Ghost. Now, I don't know if you guys remember this, but it was in book one where Kanan told Ghost, I'm going to go see my mom's. And Ghost was like, all right, word. Because that's like saying, okay, my mom may still be alive. But remember this, when it comes down to it, um, this is a two-way thing. And what I mean by that is basically when someone say they're going to see their moms or someone, their mom either could be alive or their mom could be in the grave. Because with us, when we saying we're going to see somebody, somebody could be in the grave and we're going to see them. We're going to speak to them at their grave. So we really don't know. So I don't know if Rock is dead or Rock is alive, but if she did make it out, then... Um, you know, Tariq talking to her would be awesome. I could see that happening. I could see that. I would, in fact, love to see Rock and Tariq around one another. When it comes down to it, having a Rock be around and book two ghosts would be awesome. And it's not just a thing of that, but Tariq interacting with her. Now, to be honest with you, uh, Tariq could not trust Rock. As we saw with Power Book 3, Raising Canaan at the very end, she even played her own son um, like a piece. Like, like Rock was playing chess with everybody. She was playing chess with Unique. She was playing chess with, um, you know, the police department, playing chess with the dude who was like supplying everybody. She was playing chess. Rock was playing chess with the streets. She's playing chess with everybody. And if she had to use Canaan, you know, she was desperate at that moment. But she did use Canaan. So at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, she would possibly use Tariq. Now, when it comes down to Rock and Canaan, I really don't know how things end between them. It could be a situation where um, Rock is dead. Yeah, that could be the situation. Or it could be a situation where Rock says, you know, do your thing, Canaan, and don't have nothing to do with me. I'm going to do what I want to do. Remember, remember this right here. Rock had a goal. She told Unique her goal. Not Unique. She told um, Symphony her goal. She said, I want to get to a point in my life where I don't have to be around this, where I am away and they doing the thing and I'm away and no one knows when I'm making money doing. Now, Rock possibly has done this. And what I mean by that is that she's probably gotten to a place where she, where she's doing her thing and she got people doing what they do and she don't even have to be around it. So she possibly achieved this and she just possibly said she don't want nothing to do with Kanan and them. But I highly doubt that Rock would still be alive, know about what's going on with Kanan and not, and not try to make a way or be around or Jukebox would still be around and want nothing to do with Rock. But then again, the way things ended, which uh, season um, one of book three, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Jukebox doesn't want anything to do with Rock anymore. So it could be a situation like that. Remember this, family can do things where they they will go against each other and stay separate for years. We all know we got family members that we haven't talked to in seven years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, just because of something and how it went down. And it could be the simplest of disagreements or the simplest of situations, but this happens. So when it comes down to it, there could be a big chance that Rock just didn't care about what happened with Kane in the same way Kane just didn't want nothing to do with her. So when it comes down to it, with Rock being alive, I think there's a possibility she could still be alive. Um, I also think that she could be in Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3 or Season 4, and that if Tariq reaches out to her, remember, Rock could have had a relationship with Ghost. We don't know what kind of relationship she had with him. They probably never met one another, but Ghost does know her, and apparently I want to say she knows him. Now, how does Ghost feel about her? I don't know. And how does she feel about Ghost? I don't know. All I know is when it comes down to it, if Tariq reaches out to her saying, OK, I'm Ghost's son and that um, I was always around Canaan or whatever, she may want to work with Tariq. So I don't know. But that's that's um, that is pretty much what I got to say in regards to that. I just want to say to all of you that it is your boy, Bobby Beast here. And I just want to say much love, much respect. Hold it down. And. One. 
Hey, it's your boy Bobby B's here. Some people are demons. Hey, how you guys are doing? I want to say something to you. Basically, when it comes down to it, there are people out here that are saying they're people and they're not people. There are people out here that are demons. And what I mean by that is that there are people out here, they're very wicked, very evil people. And I'm not sitting up here telling you this for you to think everybody's wicked and everybody's evil. But I'm trying to tell you there are people walking around and they're not who they say they are. Let me tell you something. Anybody who loves to play with you um just try to come at your life with with consistent dark energy they have no good towards you even if you've been good to them or you've never done nothing to them or you have nothing really to do with them but for whatever reason they want your life to be hard and they try to do everything to come after you as an attack one way or another they talk about you they lie about you they do things to make things complicated those are not people those are demons so basically when it comes down to it that's what me what i'm trying to say to you guys everybody is not a regular person every there are some people out here that are walking around and they are demons hey how